Hey what's up guys, so I'm making another video here on the MIUI ROM and this is the latest update for the MIUI ROM and this is the one that incorporates Gingerbread 2.3 <coughs> Android 2.3, sorry and um, <coughs> I'll give you the uh, build information and all that stuff in just a second but uh, first of all, you know, as you notice uh, it's pretty much the same on when you first take a look at it the bottom launcher is the same uh, you know, I'm running fancy widgets here. I'm running the uh, Jorge calendar here, and uh, <coughs> uh, this is the stock music player for the MIUI ROM. And uh, yeah, everything else is pretty much the same when you first look at it. But let's get into it. The pull down menu has changed. Like, if you notice, you know, they have three categories at the bottom notices, toggles, apps. And notices are obviously the notifications. Uh, toggle are your toggle switches. And there's a whole slew of them here. And it's kind of like an app drawer of toggle switches right there. And uh, you have your apps. <clears throat> and in this drawer or this screen, you can kill a lot of apps just by hitting the kill button. And there's a little notification that pops up saying that what was released for the kill and what is currently available after the apps uh, after the kill of the apps and that is uh, something new and um, very impressive <coughs> now, first of all I've had a lot of force closes this is in beta 6 mode so it's still really early in the uh, development process and um, I've had a lot of force closes I've had a lot of issues with it it's a little slow in running uh, as you can see going from screen to screen uh, sometimes a little bit buggy and a little bit laggy um, <clears throat> uh, there's been a few other changes. Um, first of all, your settings. You have your, your settings here, and you have your launcher settings. And in your launcher settings, you get a force close. There you go. <laughs> so, as I said, a lot of force closes. You probably do not want to use this as your daily driver. Um, and I, as I said, it's in beta mode, so it's still new. And uh, we have you know you have your settings here for your launcher settings which is not a lot of settings but you know you can kinda of change how your screen animates things like that and then you have your other settings menu which is your main settings which is familiar to anyone who's used the MIUI ROMs before um, you have your different uh, settings for, for your different toggles for your different settings and uh, I'm just gonna go to the about section just so you guys can see which the information so yeah as I said 2.3.3 Android build and this is running MIUI version 1.3.18 <clears throat> and here's the kernel information if you want to know and the baseband version which is pretty much the same and um, that's pretty much it and uh, we have our screen off animation which is gingerbread is known for or at least the sand engine mod is where I first saw it and uh, you also have the screen on animation as well you also have the the gingerbread lock screen which is there and um, it's really great to see that screen off animation on the MIUI ROM um, you still have your uh, applications that download directly to the home screen so that's always that's still there um, there hasn't been much change um, it does not support landscape mode yet so there's no support for that the other thing it does not support which is what was one of my complaints about uh, all of the MIUI ROMs really is that you cannot upload to YouTube directly um, there may be a patch for it as I said before but I have not found it and I haven't really gotten into the into pushing um, updates yet so that's uh, something I need to kind of figure out but for now there's no there's no uh, there's no direct upload also what's unsupported is the camera it first of all the cameras change as you can see uh, I think that this uh, UI for the camera looks fantastic I mean big improvement from what they were using before and uh, you can toggle your between your camera and your video camera there and your, your record button uh, what is not supported though is 720p uh, recording. Uh, so when, when I try to select it, it says sorry, this format is not supported. So 
720p is not supported, direct upload is not supported, and um, so those things make it, you know, yeah, and the typical MIUI, and then the, uh, what was I going to say, there was one other thing that I wanted to get into, um, I guess I'll run a smart bench while I'm thinking of that, uh, there is the fact that with certain applications and certain programs like the YouTube application uh, I don't know if this is changeable or what I haven't figured out how to change it but whenever you uh, go into certain screens the font that they use for certain lettering or certain uh, you know certain forms uh, is a very bright yellow and if you have a white backdrop it does not show up at all so uh, getting the call here <laughs> Let's cancel that. <clears throat> so that screwed up my smart bench. I'm gonna start that one over. But as I was saying, yeah, so that does not, it doesn't work. Uh, I don't know what it is. I don't know if that's something that could be changed. I've, as I said, I've looked for it, but I haven't found out how to change the font. I've changed the theme a couple times and that didn't really help it. So I think. Um, Hopefully they know about it, and maybe that's part of the beta, and maybe that's something that needs to be fixed. Uh, I didn't see any information on the thread about it, so maybe they just don't know about it yet. I'm not sure. Uh, the other thing is that it's uh, so it runs pretty. I, the smart bench test that I'm getting is pretty much the same that I was getting before. I ran it a couple times before I recorded this video, and I was getting about a thousand. It's hard to read, but I was getting about a thousand uh, over a thousand, so similar. Um, so yeah, it did. It didn't. It didn't work that time because I was getting the call. But I'm not gonna run it again. Uh, you guys just have to take my word for it. But I'll try and show you the YouTube application and see maybe if you guys can see what I'm talking about. So as you can see, there's some words that show up and some words that are you can barely make it out but some words that are just really high color and font that really high yellow color and it just does not show up like the info section here does not come up here uh, some parts of it does come up but not all of it so um, not sure exactly what that's about uh, so yeah I guess you know it's just beta mode you know I think once they get it going it's gonna be really cool to see the gingerbread implement, I want to see if it land. If they incorporate landscaping, and uh, still no word on the YMAX. Don't know if it's going to be in the in, in update anytime soon. Uh, I don't think they're really in a big rush to get the YMAX implemented, but um, hopefully they get those few things fixed with it, and then you know it'll be a nice running ROM. Um, you know, I guess you can see the notification bar is that that cyanogen mod green type of a color um, so that's that and you know, that's pretty much it guys um, so you know as I said don't use it as a daily driver you want to check it out I'll leave the thread information below but all in all um, I'm really interested in see what the changes will be made once it's uh, yeah you can be possible to use as a daily driver and once those uh, the next update comes uh, to fix a lot of those bugs it's going to be really interesting to see how it turns out so uh, Check it out, guys. Comment, rate, let me know what you think. Bye.